and, 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 and the whole jury went like this. They were looking at me, they said, oh, and they looked at this guy and went, <laughs> <laughs> and, my, and, and the district attorney says, uh, <laughs> it turned out to be the funny room scene and everything. I was telling you, we were talking about funny things that have, has nothing to do with this right now, but uh, there was um, in, in Reno, Nevada, I went to this, the nuttiest funeral I ever went to in my entire life. A big gambler died, <laughs> and a pit boss gets up over the eulogy, <laughs> and he says, friend, he says, uh, Willie's not dead, he's just asleep. And a voice in the back of the church yelled, I got 5,000 that says, Willie, don't wake up. <laughs> smiling inside <laughs> because we're down to real honest to goodness who's your business we have with us this morning entire life a big gambler died <laughs> and a pit boss gets up to deliver the eulogy <laughs> and he says friend he says uh, Willie's not dead he's just asleep and a voice in the back of the church yells, I got 5,000 and says, Willie, don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce yeah. our president of Ball State University. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fine. Thank you. 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 Brett, this is no joke. Even though so I find myself smiling inside. <laughs> And, 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 and the whole jury went like this. They were looking at me, they said, oh. And they looked at this guy and went. <laughs> <laughs> and, my, and, and the district attorney says, uh, <laughs> it turned out to be the funniest courtroom scene and everything. I was telling, I was, we were talking about funny things that happened. It has nothing to do with this right now. But uh, there was, um, in, in Reno, Nevada, I went to this, the nuttiest funeral I ever went to in my entire life. A big gambler died, <laughs> and a pit boss gets up to deliver the eulogy, <laughs> and he says, friend, he says, uh, Willie's not dead, he's just asleep, and a voice in the back of the church yells, I got 5,000, and says, Willie, don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce yeah. our president of Ball State University. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 Brett, this is no joke. Even so, I find myself smiling inside. <laughs> because we're down to real honest to goodness who's your business. Uh, we have with us this morning the Indiana Secretary of State, Mr. Ed Wilcox, who wants to make a presentation to you as our top sophomore of the law bank. Oh, uh, thank you. Mm. Thank Red, you. Uh, nice, nice to see you, you again. Well, we know that uh, you have been honored to cross really the face of the earth in many ways, particularly by the laughter and love of your fans. But it's my opportunity to hear you as a favorite son of Indiana and the banks of the Wabash, which is uh, not only symbolic but true in your respect. Uh, years, a few years before you walked the banks of the Wabash, the Indian tribes drove the banks of the Wabash River. And the Sagamore was, of course, the chieftain of the Indian tribes. Since that time to the present, governors of the state of Indiana have been privileged to uh, honor Indiana's distinguished citizens with a certificate entitled the Sagamore of the Wabash. And on behalf of Governor Orr, it's my privilege to present it to you today. I'd like to read a couple of whereas clauses here for you. Whereas the greatness of the sons of Indiana derives in part from the qualities possessed by the noble chieftains of the Indian tribes, which once roamed its domain, and whereas, whereas it has been immemorial custom of the state of Indiana to attract to its support those who have exhibited such qualities, and whereas there has endeared himself to the citizens of Indiana one Red Skelton, distinguished by his humanity in living, his loyalty in friendship, his wisdom in counsel, and his inspiration in leadership. Now therefore, recognizing his greatness and desiring to avail myself of his counsel, I do hereby appoint him a chieftain upon my staff with the rank and counsel of Sagamore of the Wabash. 
witness my hand and seal of the Council of the Sagamores in Annapolis, Indiana, this third day of October, the year of our Lord, 1981, signed Robert Dior, Governor of the State of Indiana. Thank you very much. It's been <laughs> I really appreciate this. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have any more? Yes, thank you. Yes, dear. Could you lean into the mic and, and say the claims that you want to do on that? I must tell you about that, dear heart. I don't, I do not use it as a gimmick of any kind. Uh, I do not sign autographs. People say, would you sign it? May God bless on it. I don't do it. It's my way at the finish of the show of saying thank you. I'm not ordained to a church, so I don't say God bless, because I don't think anyone should make demands on a great unseen power. I say may God bless. But to do it just as a sort of thing, I, I can't. I, I, it's my way of saying to the audience, I hope you have the same uh, happiness and, and success in life that, that I've had, and uh, may you be blessed with it that way. You understand? I'm not uh, being, uh, uh, I don't want to be difficult or anything, but I try to explain okay. it. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> How about in the gallery back there? <laughs> of the uh, 1929s and uh, 20 inches of it. And she was the Cosmopolitan girl. She was on the front page of Cosmopolitan every month. And so that was, it. That was their family. And her family, my family, we were very dear friends. And Mrs. Gell, I've been married to for 31 years, knew that she was dying. And she said to Lothian, you take good care of him and don't let anyone hurt him because you know him better than anyone. See? So they, we were married, and we've been married now for 10 years. She was uh, 30, she's 39 now. Jack Benny said, <laughs> she said, do you think I'll always stay, do uh, you think I'll ever be 100 years old? We were talking about people, there's something in the paper about some guy living 100, she said, do you think I'll ever be 100? I said, not if you stay 39 any longer, no. <laughs> 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 I sold those pocketbooks. <laughs> 